There are many myths out there about how to lose weight, and I'm here to try to dispel them for you. I'm somebody who was always very thin growing up, and I could eat as much as I wanted. I, I really enjoyed going to buffets and getting my money's worth, right? Um, and eating and enjoying my food. And I could do that without gaining a pound. And people would be envious of me. But over time, that didn't work anymore. And I gained weight. Not huge, but relatively huge. Because I was you know, averaging about 180, 185 pounds. And you know, some months back, I was averaging about 225 pounds. So gaining weight made me feel more uncomfortable, all right? I just felt heavy on my feet. And when I was driving in a car, I was uncomfortable. I had to like loosen my belt up because yeah, it just, it just got in the way. So I decided some time ago that I wanted to start losing weight. Well, how do you do that? Number one, I was about to be on some diet, some South Beach, Atkins, whatever in the world diet. I was going to be smart about it. So this is weight loss for smart people. I'm not claiming I'm a genius, but man, you, we all know this, right? We all know this. But, you know, with the advertising out there, they try to lure you in. Learn from us how to lose weight. You know, pay some money. A little bit, a lot. We got you, right? Lose 10 pounds in a week. Right, that's definitely not what you want to do. Here's the secret. If you want to stop watching now, you can. Eat less food. Right? Eat less food. I'm not going to tout any kind of diet. Yeah, there's things I like to eat. Things I don't like to eat. But the bottom line is eat less food. Simple as that. You could stop watching now if you want to. If you want to get a little bit more refined, then uh, yeah, keep going. A healthy amount of weight to lose is one pound per week. That's what I've that's what I've gotten from you know years of looking into things in in different ways. One pound a week that's healthy. You don't want to start losing five pounds a week, ten pounds a week, all that kind of junk. All right, because you're gonna yo yo bling bling. You know you'll be down, you'll be back up. So what's the point? You want to be uh, you want to eat food in a way that's sustainable. You're not going to be on some, you know, I'm going to cut my carbs and do all this stuff. Man, carbs are good for you. All right? You need those for your brain function and other things. You don't want to just be, you know, uh, on, on just all protein and stuff like that. Some keto, you know, whatever in the world. I don't really know about all these diets. All I know is that these are some fads that go around. You don't want to be all in that. I eat what I want to eat. Simple as that. I eat what uh, I like to eat, but I eat less of it. Another thing that I, uh, you know, learned along the way is if you want to lose weight, you know, eat less, of course, but eat till you're about 80% full. What does that mean? I didn't know, but I knew what 200% full felt like. And so, yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> that made you feel, made me feel sick. Didn't for a while, but it did at the, you know, at the end. So... Eating to about 80% full means this. You have, you know, a portion of food on your plate. And, you know, it's, you can always get more, right? So have a smaller portion of food on your plate and eat till you kind of, you kind of feel full. Not like really full, you know, not over full, but you just kind of feel full. And you stop. Maybe a little less than full and you stop. You just cut it off. Instead of having, you know, uh, two servings of it, just have one and just, just to hang out. Other thing that I found is this. I like to eat desserts, you know. I still do. But instead of having the piece of pie this big, I have the piece of pie maybe this big. And what I found is this. 30 minutes down the line, I don't feel any different. You know, as far as like, you know, satiation or the enjoyment of the meal eating a larger piece as opposed to a smaller piece. I still get to enjoy it, but, you know, it's for the taste, really, instead of, like, blah, 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 filling up on this, you know, gigantic thing and not going back for 10 more or whatever. So eat what you want. Enjoy what you want. I mean, if your diet is, like, you know, totally terrible, then, you know, stop that. 
you know what healthy is, right? You know what healthy is. You know, just, you know, meat, vegetables, fruits, you know, some rice, potatoes, whatever. You know what healthy is. I don't need to go into all that. You know what healthy is. You just don't want to eat that way. I don't, I don't either all the time. So just eat less of what you like. And when you're feeling a little hungry, allow yourself to be hungry. All right? You know, it's, it's, it's 1030. It's 11 o'clock. You're like, oh man, I'm feeling hungry. I need to have something. I need to have some nuts. I need to have a candy bar, something, something to tide me over. If you want to tide yourself over, eat vegetables or fruits. Something else that I learned along the way is eat as many fruits and vegetables as you want. Eat as much as you want. Forget about all this sugar stuff and everything. It turns and forget all that. Eat as many fruits and vegetables as you want because you really can't eat that many. All right. Just, just sit there and just try to eat like a hundred carrots. It's just not going to work, right? It'll fill you up, get you to the next meal, you know, come around 1145 noon, you'll have your lunch and then, you know, you'll have that fuel to get to your next meal. Simple as that. All right. And, you know, try to you know, have in your mind what that looks like on your plate, you know, or how much, I, I mean, I pack kind of a similar thing every day for lunch know how much fuel I need to get to the next post, you know, to get to get to dinner. And then later on, you know, if I'm hungry after that, you know, eat some fruits and vegetables. I don't do this all the time. I know there's going to be weight fluctuations and know this too. Don't weigh yourself every day. Or are you going to do that to yourself? You know, at most, you know, weigh yourself once a week because otherwise you're going to see all these fluctuations and you may see fluctuations anyway. But, you know, eat, uh, eat till you're 80% full and um, eat what you want. That's, that's the simple thing. I read a really good article. I'm going to put it in the description below. The six weight loss tips that science actually knows work. And here's the bottom line. It's that it's simple. Dieting trumps exercise. Because this is what they said. Basically, it's like this. If you exercise, you know, you could run three miles. But the equivalent to that is eating two ounces less of potato chips. I'm totally for exercise and I do it. But we're talking about straight weight loss. In this article, it says that you can lose weight eating Twinkies. You know, this guy did some Twinkie diet thing. And he... Uh, Probably not all Twinkies. Maybe it was. I don't know. Scientists can be crazy. But anyway, just Twinkies and lost weight. So yeah, the the, the point is, is that you could lose weight on junk food. You know what? You know what's good. I don't need to tell you what's good. I mean, you know that eating junk food all the time isn't good for your body. It's it's not good fuel. So come on, you you could figure that out, right? You know, some fruit, some meat, some vegetables. You know, that's that's like you know healthy. Right, you know, eating oatmeal and eggs in the mornings, stuff like that. That's healthy, right? You don't need to know about all that. Just don't eat less food. You could eat, you know, you can have some dessert. You're not cheating, you're not in trouble or being good if you don't, you know, eat these things or whatever. You want a cupcake, man, eat the cupcake. Just don't eat five of them. Or you want a piece of pie, you know, eat, eat a smaller piece and a larger piece. You're going to feel the same 30 minutes later whether you had the big piece or the small piece, but you're not going to be putting on that weight. Um, you're going to have to be mindful um, going forward. This is a long-term goal. This isn't some, I got to get into my swimsuit in six weeks and look good. This is not some, you know, um, I need to w uh, lose X amount of weight by such, such and such time. Forget all that stuff. Make a goal. For me, my goal was to be at 200 pounds. That was my goal. All right. And I achieved that, but I started it um, at the beginning or back to the very end of May. Basically, uh, we'll call it June. And I started at that point. I was up to 225, but I didn't really, you know, think about. I, I didn't like actually register it. I didn't. I didn't mark it down. Um, I was 211 pounds, and then it went down. You know, basically, the average was like a week, a pound a week. That's healthy. That's sustainable. 
and I got to the 200 mark on um, August 23rd, right? So it wasn't overnight. If you're 50 pounds overweight, it'd probably take you about a year to knock that off. You could go more than that, but I would say, man, just slow and steady pace, okay? Back to that article. Yeah, you're gonna have to be mindful for the rest of your life, okay? Because it doesn't get better as you age, it gets worse, right? So just be mindful, what does my body need? You know, listen to the signals in your mind, like, you know, I'm full, I'm good. <laughs> you know, I, I work in a school. A big trap for teachers is the teacher's lounge because people bring stuff in. It's like, yes, donuts, yes, it's this, this, you know, whatever. You know, sometimes if I'm like, you know what, I really want this, I might have a half a donut. That's totally weird for me. But I will, you know, a kid brings in, uh, you know, cupcakes for the birthday. Sometimes I'll have one. Sometimes I won't. But yeah, I won't just eat food because it's there. Like, oh yeah, man, it's a, it's an in-service day, and I already had my breakfast. But man, there's bagels and this, the fruit, everything. I mean, the fruit's okay. But anyway, yeah, all these different things. Blah 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 blah. I just feel sick afterwards. Um, there's no magical combination of foods. You know uh, what does it say here? You know, you need to eat the right combination: low fat, low carb, low glycemic, paleo, all these different things. The myth here is that there's a magical combination of foods. Be a protein, vegetarian, or what have you. That is all a bunch of, you know, fad stuff. They want to sell you a book or something like that. A calorie is a calorie. You know, the Twinkie diet guy, he uh, uh, lost 27 pounds eating junk food. All right, proof positive you can lose weight by, you know, eating whatever. Um... You're going to kind of change your, uh, your, your brain, you know, to look at food in a different way. For me, I felt like, you know what, food doesn't have control over me. I have control over, over food and it's fuel and it's also for enjoyment, but not just like, you know, eating for, um, you know, pleasure and eating, you know, like, ah, just lavishing myself with this stuff. And uh, the bottom line of all this is... It says, boiling it down even further, reduce calories, eat better, exercise, and most of all, remember it is a practice that has to be repeated over time, months, or years. So yeah, where am I at right now? It's uh, the end of October, and I'm, you know, hovering between 191 to 195 pounds. So yeah, I lost, you know, a good amount of weight. I feel good where I'm at. My range is going to be between 185 and 200 pounds. That's, I'm going to be happy with that. And uh, I'm not going to try to lose more because you know, I don't want to be like, you know, real thin or, you know, unhealthy in the other way. But yeah, that's the range that I'm going for. And here's the proof. All right, this belt I thought was going to last me the rest of my life. I still think it will. But for a while there, I was thinking I, it was, I was going to have to poke holes in it or whatever. So here, here's how my pants feel, fit right now. Isn't that kind of funny? I lost weight, right? Check this. When I bought the belt, here's where I was. A little bit ago, I was here. So, you know, that's some inches, right? I thought that I was going to have to go here. And then I even thought I was going to have to uh, punch some holes. I'm back here from when I bought the belt. And, yeah, that's good, man. And you can do it, too. But don't don't fall uh, victim to these traps out here. They want to sell you stuff. They want to yeah, make it very complicated. Eat less food. I don't count, count calories. That, that's just crazy to me. If that's if you're you know somebody math minded, maybe that will work for you. But I eat till about eighty percent full, maybe ninety percent full, and uh, I try not to eat uh, more than I need to throughout the day. I don't actually have like you know snacks or whatever as much as I did. Sometimes not at all, mostly not at all actually. And over time, you'll get where you need to go. If you're 175 pounds and you want to be 150 pounds, you know, say, hey, I want to be 150 pounds and, and do what I, I'm telling you. And over time, you'll get to be that, that weight. You'll be 150 pounds and be like, this is cool. All right? And you keep a range in your mind. You know, I'll be between 145 and a and 155 pounds. That gives you some wiggle room. Weigh yourself like once a week instead of every day so you're not beating yourself up, oh, I'm, I'm terrible or whatever, because your weight will fluctuate. And uh, be easy on yourself. This is a long-term thing. This is about um, 
fitness and health for life. This isn't about fitness and health for a moment. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty long video. Hope you watch to the end. But if you watch to you know a little bit, you you'd figure it all out. Eat less and uh, yeah, exercise too. It's good for you. But yeah, eat less food. Simple as that. You wanna you wanna lose weight, eat less food. Hey, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I appreciate it, and I hope it helps you out. You know, let me know in the comments below if that's something you agree with, if it's something that's helping you out. If you're watching this, um, you know, later on down the road, still leave a comment. I like to see them. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.